We knew it would happen at some point, and it's about that time. That's right, the Googans are making their way back, as will be seen in some of the incidents featured in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us up to Bar Harbor, Maine, where one of these such individuals decided they were going to drive their 2021 Ford Bronco over the land bridge to Bar Island that's only accessible at low tide. But during this time, the crew decided they wanted a little more fun than that and decided to drive the truck into the mud flats where the vehicle became stuck. Of course, this causes some major issues as this area is only accessible at low tide. I mean, gosh, there are only some signs that would have warned them of the impending danger of getting the vehicle stuck here. Now, after one full time, tide cycle of being submerged in the water, a local towing company came out and attempted to free the vehicle, but found out quickly that the mud was just too soft for them to be able to pull this vehicle out. After several attempts, they were only able to drag the Bronco about 100 feet and determined they were going to have to take a different course of action. So they got a local salvage company involved who came out at the next low tide and placed airbags underneath the Bronco. So at high tide, the vehicle would actually float. From there, they were able to use several boats to move the vehicle from its location over to the land bridge so it would be on a much harder surface at the next low tide. And from here, they were able to get the vehicle towed out. The aerial footage was provided by Everyday Drone's YouTube channel, and the comments over there are hilarious, just letting you know that the tourists and the Googans are back. So be sure to go over there and check out the full video. But the Guggen fun doesn't stop there this week, as this is the body cam footage of the Essex police pulling over somebody on waterway this past week who was out there speeding at three times the speed limit that was posted on the water. Careful. So as this crew approaches the officers on the water, he winds up hitting their vessel and losing the mirror off the side of his ski. That's your wing mirror gone, I think. Press stop, press stop. Press stop. Turn up. Mate, if you if you're on that and you're saying to me where's stop, that's worrying me. Twice you've hit Twice you've hit us and you've now ripped one wing mirror off and now ripped the other mirror off. This is definitely not a good sign when you're asking the officer where the stop button is and you're not quite sure how to control your machine. In the end, the officers wound up fining this gentleman 200 euros for going three times the speed limit on the water. But you've got to be careful. Remember, the Googans are back out there and we're on the water with people like this. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us up to Buffalo, New York. And no, it will not be another Guggen story. Unfortunately, this week, some real boating news happened. And if I don't report on it, you guys are going to light it up in the comments below. Plus, I've already been tagged about a dozen times on this one asking if I stole the drain plug. Well, of course, you know that's not the case. But this is the USS The Sullivans up in Buffalo, New York. This vessel is a retired United States Navy Fletcher class destroyer. The ship was named in honor of the five Sullivan brothers who lost their lives when their ship, the USS Juno, was sunk by a Japanese submarine during the naval battle of Guadalcanal. This past week, this vessel found itself in a little bit of trouble as the vessel lost power and began to take on water when the bilge pumps quit working. Currently, salvage crews are working to try and raise the vessel and make repairs to the hull so it will float again. They're currently using 4D watering pumps that can remove almost 13,000 gallons of water per minute from the vessel. The timing could not have been worse on this as the Save the Sullivan's organization whose sole mission was to raise funds to restore this vessel had just broken their goal of a million dollars and had plans to start renovating on the vessel just before this incident occurred. Several salvage companies are still working to try and raise the vessel and make repairs to the hull so they can get this vessel stabilized. And no, the Guggen stories are not done yet. This one, though, has a little bit of a sad twist. Here, these images were sent in to me from Elizabethtown, South Africa, where I'm being told a gentleman tried to take his vessel across the bar in Elizabethtown that just wasn't quite seaworthy on an extremely rough day. And this was the end result where the boat winds up stuck on the bar. Okay, here's a boat that sunk. Yesterday, it's on the sand bank, so everybody must just be careful when you do go past here. Unfortunately, this captain was not alone on the vessel. He had his dog with him, and unfortunately, the dog did not survive the incident. Just a reminder, it's not just humans who need life vests on a boat. If you're taking an animal with you, have a life vest for them as well. I hope the owner or the skipper will get justice. 
Justice must be served, definitely. As a captain of your vessel, you are responsible for yourself, everybody, and everything on your vessel. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know when you might see your stories over here. Just like Pam Alexander, Shane Van Zyl, Alicia Williams, Colin Glover, Clayton Wadley, Chris Bordelay, and Everyday Drones did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.